we have some nice molded rivet detail, 57, and a light which oddly does not light up. I don't know why it doesn't light up, I don't know why my now didn't do that, but it doesn't light up. Up here we have the funnel, I'll show you more of that when I get a top view. Down here we have some more um, molded in steps, things like that for the front of the engine. We have molded in cylinder here. Like I said, most of the things are going to be molded in on this. This is not a highly detailed model. Moving down to the side of the engine, we have the 040 wheel arrangement. And for those who don't know what that means, that just means that there's zero wheels in the front, four wheels in the middle, and zero in the back. So that's what 040 means. Over here on the boiler, we have some more molded in uh, handrails and rivets. We have the Santa Fe logo, and then we have the three domes with the bell, and here's the whistle. Back here, we have the 57 on the cab, and then we have three frosted windows here that do not open, and they're not plastic. They're just molded in. Here's a better view of the side of the cab. We have some molded in steps here, more rivet detail, and I think these are actually separately applied on handrails. I'm not sure. Looks like they're molded in, but they did a good job with these. Here I'm showing you the back of the engine where we have the switch for the sound. The sound is just the idle noises. Um, it still has the chopping and the whistle, but you could turn the switch on and off to turn off the idle noises. And here we have the molded in coal load. Down here on the bottom we have the operating knuckle couple, and we have some more rivet detail. Of course, the left side of the engine is exactly the same as the right side. Sorry for the shakiness, I'm just holding the camera for the top view. Up here we have the opening for the smokestack, which it does not have a smoke unit. It would be good if they put a smoke unit in there, but they didn't. We have the bell, the three domes, the whistle, and here would look like a uh, smoke fluid opening, but it's not. I don't know if you could see, but down there is just a screw. We have molded, more molded on rivets and a molded on hatch. So I have the engine turned over in an engine cradle. Again, sorry for the shakiness. You could see the wheels and you can see the two pickup rollers. For some reason, only this wheel has a traction tire. Usually it's the two back wheels, but it's only this wheel. So here we have the box car that comes with the set. Over here it says the Grand Canyon Line. Santa Fe logo, ASTF, and then some numbers along here, some fine print that are obviously legible. We have the molded in door, which does not open. We have some molded in ladder here, and you could start to see the rivet detail for the roof. Here we have the silver gondola that comes with the set. You can see it has a nice silver color and some printing that says ASTF, numbers, and the Santa Fe logo with some more statistics or whatever you want to call them. We have some nice molded in rivet detail and a nice molded in brake. If I didn't mention it before, which I don't think I did, the wheels on everything, they're all die cast. I don't know if you could see them too well with the lighting, but these wheels are all die cast and they're very nice. Here, of course, we have the classic red caboose. Over here, we have some nice molded in wood looking details. And we have these windows are hollow there. There's no plastic inserts or anything like that. The Santa Fe logo, ISTF, then numbers, and then a builder's plate over here. We have the roof up here with two hollow windows and the smokestack exhaust chimney, whatever you want to call it. So now I have the engine hooked up to power, and now you can hear the idle noises, which of course you could turn off if you want with the switch in the back, like I showed you. Now here's the whistle. Here's the bell. And here are some crew talk noises that change when the engine is in motion or at idle. Now I'm going to show you how to work the remote. It's very simple. 
looks like this, obviously. Turn it on, obviously, there's a switch over here. Turn it on. This button over here is the whistle. You just hold it. I would do a quick, quick toot, if you want to call it that. This button is the food talk noises. And then over here is the bell. You press it once to turn it on. And again to turn it off. Over here we have the dial, which I will show you when I'm running it, so it doesn't go off this one small track that I have. And that's really it. This is a very simple remote, so small children can use it very easily. And if I didn't mention it before, this set is very good for kids because it's very, it's one of Lionel's kind of bulky items, and it, it's good with children handling it. The price of this set with four extra 10 inch straight tracks by Lionel, which you, I really recommend getting because it comes with a 40 inch by 40 inch circle, which it gets boring at times. And if you get only just four pieces of 10 inch straight, which is the size I have here, it, it really expands what you could do. You have multiple different uh, layouts you could do with it. And it just adds a little flair to your setup or layout or whatever you have. On Amazon, to get this plus the track is $143. Now, if you go through a good dealer, you could get a, a discount or something like that if they have a sale. And that's plus the track, so if you don't want to spend that much, you could not get the track. But it's worth it. It's it's twenty five dollars for the track. I really recommend getting that if you buy this set. Unfortunately, I cannot show you this engine on the track moving around because my house is currently under construction and I do not have any room to put it. So I will just show you a few pictures of the engine, the rolling stock, and the box. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And and this is strictly Steam saying goodbye, everyone. Thank you.